Hello everyone and peace of Christ to everybody. Today we have a question and the question was about uh, the debate happened uh, um, today, yesterday, depending on your location, uh, between uh, David Wood and uh, Shabir Ali. You know, I don't, I'm not going to talk who won, who lost, because I don't think it was a debate. This is, you know, uh, there's two guys, they print their speech, but it's in the computer and they prepare for it a month in advance and then they call it a debate I, I don't I don't find a debate in a debate such a like, like you know I go and uh, I have my computer in front of me and I'm reading for you what I wrote for you 10 weeks ago that is not a debate and this is why Shabir Ali he debate uh, David Wood because uh, this is the debate this is the kind of the debate he liked there's no surprises in it he know exactly what he would say and David Wood he know what uh, what Shabir Ali would say so it's a joke. It is a joke. However, I you know advise Christians not to approach the normal approach usually Christians they do when they debate Muslims about the crucifixion of Jesus. You are wasting your time. It's a stupid talk, to be honest with you. Because if I show him 1,000 verses from the Bible, he don't believe in the Bible anyway. Same time, if you show him his Quran, he will say to you, uh, you know, you don't have a wrong understanding. And then if you show him his own scholar interpretation for the Quran, he will say, oh, this is a wrong, you know, this is, a, yes, he's a scholar, but he have a wrong understanding too. The Muslims always, they play games, especially someone like Shabir Ali, who is a game player. This guy is not, uh, he's not honest, the same as most of the Muslims. And, uh, you know, uh, he keeps escaping, running away from debating me because he knew that he, he cannot make it if he is debating me. He debates specifically those who do not speak Arabic and specifically those who print their debate in advance, which means they are not really prepared for a live debate, which is a crossfire where they can corner the other side of the debate. When a Muslim says to you, Jesus never been crucified. I mean, what the problem there? Seriously, what the problem? You see, why you want to prove to him that he is wrong? You know, the, the, the uh, title of the debate, Did Jesus you know, Rose from the Death? <laughs> I mean, the debate, the title is funny. Uh, because, my friend, use your intelligence. This is the Quran in front of us. And this is the only verse in the whole Quran speaking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Allah have a lot of time to tell us about the ant who have a broken leg, who Suleiman, he saw her and he talked to her and she listened to him and she told her friends and the flying carpet and Muhammad, he is horny and he want to have sex with all the women and women, she can open her legs for him and Muhammad, who he can F his, his, his cousin, the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin and the neighbor of the neighbor. But he don't have time to make for us explanation for what happened to Jesus even because even the Quran doesn't say anything this is the Muslim translation for chapter 4 verse number 157 the only verse speaking about the crucifixion of Jesus if you read any Muslim translation for sure I don't for me I do not need translation I'm just using it for you because all Muslim translation is nothing but a lie but if you read their translation you will see that it says that they said who if you ask the Muslims who they say the Jews okay <laughs> the Quran confirm that they killed him. The second you said, they said we killed him. I mean, why in the world the Jews they will say we killed him, but they did not? And why in the world the Christian they will say yes they did and they did not? I mean, who is stupid here? So the the Quran confirm that the Jews killed Jesus. Same time, look what happened. They say we killed Jesus, we called the Christ, Jesus, the Quran doesn't say Jesus, it says Isa, we don't know who is, who is this Isa, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, this is another stupid statement because the Christian don't believe that this person is a messenger of Allah, that's stupid. And why the Jews, they will say we killed the Isa, the messenger of Allah, if he is not a messenger of Allah, because why they want to kill somebody, he is a messenger of God. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. You know, if somebody is saying to me, uh, you 
are a messenger of God. And I believe in you. You are a messenger of God. So why do you want to kill me? They just believed. The second they say that he is the messenger of God, if Allah is is a name of the God, which is the Muslim claim that Isa he believe in, and the Jews believe in, okay, no problem. They just admitted that Jesus, the Christ, the Isa, the one they are talking about, he is a messenger of God. So why do they want to kill him? Stupid statement. We continue. But they killed him not, nor crucified him. Okay, so what happened? The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, no, 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 hold on. It says nor crucified him because they crucified someone else. That is just a confirmation that the crucifixion happened and Jesus was crucified. Because until you prove to me that this was someone else, and none of, those, none of the Jews, I mean, look how stupid the Jews, they could not notice that this is not Jesus. <laughs> and why they could not notice? Because Allah, he cloned someone look like Jesus. That's amazing. How many times Allah, he do that in his lifetime? I mean, how many Muhammad he cloned? How many Musas he cloned? How many Isa he cloned? How many Adam he cloned? And why, you know, when, when, the, when the Jewish woman, she killed Muhammad by poison, Allah did not clone a stomach, not Muhammad, a stomach like the stomach of Muhammad to eat the food and that stomach die. So, my friend, don't debate the Muslims from the Bible. The Quran is a stupid book. But you need just a logic. And then it says, but so it was made to appear to them. That's wonderful. So it, this is what they saw. And people, they have witness for what they saw. So where is the proof that they did not see it? No proof. The Quran confirmed that they saw that. However, additional to all of this, you as a Christian, when you say to the Muslims, I remember, I, I will give you an idea about, about what I'm trying to say. Once an Egyptian guy, it, I, I was sitting with two of them. One of them is older and the other one is younger, but both are old. The, you know, the Muslims went right away when they see someone Christian, they start bothering him with their question. They think they knew better, but he have no idea he's talking to, he, to, to who. He do not know that I am who I am. So he said, if Jesus is the son of God, then how his father let him die? Wow, that's amazing question. So if Jesus is a son of God and he is God, then he should not die. So you have a proof in the front of you based in the Muslim's argument that Jesus is God. Because why he did not die? I mean, what the point of this, uh, like uh, why he saved him? And why he saved him to take him to heaven? What about save him and take him to the second building? And let him go uh, as the Ahmadiyya say and, you know, and appear after a couple of thousand of years in, uh, uh, in, in a town uh, close to Bombay. Uh, and he was eating curry there. And he was for three years as Mary, as the Ahmadiyya believe. Imagine a guy, his name is Isa. Allah saved him from the cross and then he sent him up to heaven and then sent him down to India. And then in India, he became Mary for three years. And after that, he became Isa. Or let us say, uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. <laughs> anyway, so the Quran is a stupid book. You don't know, don't. Read for them from the Bible. Don't waste your time. Muslims are game player. This verse confirmed that Jesus is God. If I go with the Muslim and say, okay, okay, no problem. You say that Jesus never died. That is a proof that he is God. Where is your prophet Muhammad? Dead. Where is Adam? Dead. Where is Abraham? Dead. Where is, where is everybody? Dead. So you are telling me in the whole universe, according to Islam, only one person is alive? Everybody die except Jesus. And you are trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet. He is a normal a human being. So the argument all over there, don't go to the Bible and don't, etc. And try always to make Muslims talk. Corner them. A debate with pre-printed script. It's a stupid debate. It is boring. It's like, you know, uh, you know uh, imagine I have a boxing game. And then I print for you every move they will do next. I mean, what is that? What is the debate there? There's no debate. You know? A, a real debate is something happening in the moment. People thinking and answering in the moment. People, they are uh, uh, discussing a topic born in the moment of the brain thinking. 
not to print it. I bring my computer and you bring your computer, you read your speech, I read my speech. It is a joke. So the argument of Jesus was not crucified is enough a proof for me that Jesus is God. For everybody die. Muhammad himself died by poison like a rat. Then the Muslim want to convince me that Jesus did not die, no problem. Is that what you believe in? Then explain to me why Jesus should not die. Why the Quran says that the Jews killed many prophets. Why only Jesus? He will not be killed. What is the reason? Why only Jesus is going to come back? I mean, okay, you saved him from death, no problem, that's good. Why he will stay alive and he will come back? What the point? Why it's happening? You know? So, uh, uh, if we go here, let us see, let us show you. Uh, here we go. In chapter 5, verse number 70, it says that the Jews, some of the messengers accused him of lying and some of the messengers, they killed them. If we ask the Muslims, who are they? The messengers, they are slain by the Jews. The Abduls cannot give us any answer. For this is a stupid religion made by a stupid idiot who have no idea what Christianity is about, what even his religion is about. He's, he's building a religion, copy from here, copy from there. You know, it's like, you know, somebody, uh, uh, I don't know if you see the, in, the, in the Cirque, somebody wearing a, uh, like a, a trouser and there is many batches of fabric in there this is exactly Islam he's trying to make a trouser from everywhere this is why in the beginning he fasted the same as the Jew in the beginning he prayed the same as the Jew in the beginning he prayed to Jerusalem in the beginning he want to do what Musa did in the beginning etc and then he changed then he came back to pray as the same as the Arab used to pray and pray in front of the Kaaba and go around the Kaaba and kiss the black stone because he is a sick confused false prophet trying to build trying to make himself a prophet this is why you know uh, 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 Muhammad always tried to hide his copy from from the Christians and the Jews uh, as as uh, uh, you know uh, if, if you remember once Muhammad uh, he was praying uh, in a funeral I'm using my hand one hand to type. I'm using a microphone of the, uh, the the phone microphone. All right. Look at this uh, example. The Messenger of Allah S W S B M D two hundred F M G O O O H F M used to stand up in the uh, for a funeral until the corpse was placed on the graves. Alluran Jews. Okay, what happened? Look at this. Look at this drama. Alluran Jews. Jew once passed by him and said this is how we do it what 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 the jew he said this is how we do it that's all okay this is how and what muhammad he did right away muhammad he said sit down sit down sit down act differently from them i mean what the heck so all his life praying standing during the funeral and now just because a jew he said this is how we do it Muhammad, he just noticed that now they will, because always they accuse him of copying from the Christian and the Jews and others. So right away he changed. If a prophet of God is a prophet, and this is how the angel Jibreel, as the Muslims claim, he taught him how to pray. So how you change it in a second? What happened? Just because a guy, he said, this is how we do it. Okay, Muhammad, I eat from my mouth. This is how we do it. You will eat from where? Huh? What is location? Are we going to change the location? Even like dyeing the hair, Muhammad, he said, because the Christian and the Jews don't dye their hair, dye your hair. What? And if they dye their hair, dye with black. So he forbid them from dying with black. He is trying his best to take away all the suspicion about him, for he is a copy, a stupid, fake, aftermarket copy. So this is my answer for the debate you asked me for. I hope I did answer you. Thank you guys for uh, listening. Uh, I remind you, oh, I did not mention that to you. Uh, there's a guy, he said he is very, very knowledgeable. Very, like very. I don't know how many very I need to say to you. He sent me a message in Facebook, and he said he want to debate me, and he is challenging me. So I will be in the state in the, like, in the 16th. 
So maybe we can have it in the 16. Like uh, I will be 15 uh, March 15 e evening uh, or 16 morning. So either you know uh, th the first live broadcast is more than welcome to call me. I told him. He said sure. You can call me. So I hope we will have Abdul right away uh, in the tray to debate me. And for sure, Shabir Ali, he will never do it. Because Shabir Ali, he saw many of my videos and he noticed that this is a Christian prince. This is how we do it. So he said to himself, the way he do it, I will go. Like, <laughs> I will become a bowder. <laughs> I better stay away. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is made by a fool for the fool. Thank you.